Hello everyone, my name is Yi Xue and today I'll be presenting our paper August, which is a test generation technique that learns from app videos. So as we all know that mobile apps are everywhere these days, actually I've been working in the mobile domain for over seven years now and I see these numbers grow rapidly as we're using our phones more and more often. Although I'm not sure if this is a good thing, just a side note, I'm personally very interested in digital well-being, so if you are too, feel free to reach out or catch me at the conference. So now let's go back to our paper. So given how popular mobile apps are, it's very important to assure their quality by testing them, and our paper August focuses on test generation specifically. First thing first, the test August aims to generate is UI tests, and those are the ones consist of the events where the user interacts with the app's UI, like a swipe or click a button. So there has been a lot of great work in this area of UI test generation under different categories. And mostly, their goal is to generate tests that can have a very good code coverage. So we actually have a complementary goal of generating usage-based tests, which are the tests to exercise a specific usage scenario, like a sign-in or add item to the shopping cart, and so on. So they are highly preferred by developers in practice, since they can mimic realistic user behaviors. Well, easier said than done, generating usage-based tests is actually really hard. But the good news is that in the testing community, we finally started tackling this interesting problem recently using a technique called test transfer that can transfer an existing test from one source app to a new target app. And we also have two recent work in this area, which is Fruiter and Mapit. However, the biggest limitation here is that we have to rely on existing tests to transfer from, which can be really hard to find, where they are low in quality, then it's like garbage in, garbage out, or the source app and target app just look too different to make the transfer successful. To address that limitation, here comes our new work August. It's a developer in the loop tool to generate usage-based tests by relying on app videos only. Videos are really nice because they are much easier to get and you can get them by crowdsourcing without requiring testing expertise. Also, by relying on videos only, August's underlying technique is pixel-based and by definition, it's cross-platform since we can always record a video from any apps. Then August can learn from the videos and the generated tests. So this is the overview of August that extracts IR models from app videos and then use the models to guide test generation with developer's assistance. The process repeats for each usage. For example, say we want to learn sign-in behavior and generate those tests. So we feed August with sign-in videos of different apps and August extracts IR models from them, where IR means intermediate representation. So this these IR models capture sign-in behavior in an app-independent way. I'll show examples later, but the models are the key to get test generation. Now, let's dive a little bit deeper. First, August analyzes videos and convert them into what we call event frames. These are the key video frames that capture user interactions, such as clicking a button. This process is a bit complicated and includes video processing, action identification to figure out what a user action is, such as click or long tap or swipe, and the keyboard detection to eliminate sensitive frames, such as the ones that contains user password. So then, once we have all the inventor frames, August converts them into an IR model that is a state machine and show how a certain usage is exercised in a video. This is a very challenging step to extract an app-independent formal model out of app-specific videos. The way we approached this challenge is by formulating it as an image classification problem. Now I will use an example to show what I mean. 
So uh, this is an example of one event frame. And our goal is to convert that one event frame into one step into the IR model shown here. The entire IR model is constructed by repeating the same process. So here, let's just focus on how one step is generated. The state in the model is converted from the screen of the event frame. Basically, we classify the screen into its corresponding category, like a home in this case. The transition consists of widget and action. The widget is converted from the widget in the event frame where the user is interacting with. Similarly, the image of the widget is classified into its corresponding category, like a menu in this case. The action click is identified by the previous video analysis phase that I just talked about. So to recap, August has a screen IR classifier and also a widget IR classifier that classify the image into its corresponding categories. We have predefined uh, 37 classes for the screens and uh, 74 classes for the widgets. In the screen classifier, August extracts both visual features and textual features. The visual information is encoded using an autoencoder we trained and developed. The text is extracted by OCR and encoded with BERT. For widgets, besides the visual and textual features, we also considered the location of the widget, which screen the widget belongs to, and the widget type recognized by redraw, such as image button in this case. All right, so that was a little bit underlying detail of how this one event frame is converted into one step in the IR model. And the whole model is generated by iterating all the event frames. That's how one video can be converted into one formal model. Remember, our IR models are app independent. So in the end, we are actually able to generate one very rich IR model learned from many different videos from many different apps by merging all the models together. So now, with the IR models, August can generate usage-based tests with developer's assistance. You start by running the target app and specify the RL model of the usage that you want to test, like a sign-in IR model. Then August reuses both the screen and the widget classifiers I talked about to generate the tests iteratively step-by-step. Step. This process is a bit complicated, but at a very, very high level, August recognizes the current screen and identifies the matching state in the IR model where it captures all the possible next transitions. So by consulting the IR model, August learns what the next steps should be and scans all the widgets on the screen to recommend the top K next actions for the developer to choose from. Then the app triggers the chosen action and jumps to the next state. Now, the next state becomes the current state and the process repeats until the end condition is met. In the end, the test is generated that consists of all the events that were triggered in this process. To evaluate August, we collected almost 400 videos across 18 common app usages from 18 subject apps. In each usage category, we randomly chose three apps to generate the tests for using the videos from other apps to learn from. In the end, 51 tests are generated successfully and almost 70% are successful, meaning they exercise the entire usage correctly. We also found for the remaining unsuccessful tests, they are quite similar to the correct tests. With high state precision and recall, this means developers can reuse these tests to save efforts instead of writing tests from scratch. Uh, so I also want to briefly mention that if you're interested in the image classification part in our paper, you can find detailed evaluation results of our image classifiers like this, which turned out to work pretty well and can outperform the state of the art. 
Okay, so to summarize, August is the first usage-based test generation technique that can learn from Apple videos. It also has an effective image classification technique to convert app-specific videos into app-independent IR models, which is really, really nice because with a formal model, you're able to reason about it, compare it across different apps, and so on. That can open new research possibilities. We also provide the trained models that are ready to use by direct Developers already. So we envision in the future, August has many potentials with community efforts, such as having crowd workers provide videos and have a community database to store the learned IR models, which can be used by developers to generate the tests and for researchers to study app behaviors and many more. Last but not least, I'd like to thank my co-authors who pulled this off with such great effort and so much hard work, as well as our sponsors. So if you have any questions, please feel free to connect with me or reach out to me, and I'm happy to answer them. All right, thank you so much, everyone.